There's a lot of evolving going on at the Big Ten Conference right now. You have to, to keep up with the changing landscape and the changing times of college football. There's especially a lot of evolution going on with some of the bigger programs in the Big Ten West. You know who's not evolving? Iowa. Because they insist that sticking with a family affair is going to work. It's not. That's what I think. But in reality, it's up to the leadership at Iowa to make changes. What is it going to take for that leadership to move on from Kirk and Brian? Before I get into that, just a reminder to hit subscribe. Big 10 content all off season long. Always crush that like button to spread the word of Big 10 Ted to the masses. When I say leadership, a lot of people might think of guys, the Ferentz family, that's within the football program, right? Kirk Ferentz has been the head coach for a very, very long time, I believe since 1999. And of course, Brian Ferentz is the offensive coordinator. He's in control of the offense. The Ferentzes, you might think, run Iowa football. But actually, I'm going to throw Kirk and Brian. I'm going to throw them a bone and say it's not completely their fault. And you might think, what? Of course it's their fault. Of course it's Brian Farron's fault. Did you see that offense? Oh, I saw that offense. I saw that offense. But when we talk about leadership, okay, because it takes great leaders. I talked about that in a previous video about Nebraska. The reason why they haven't kept up with the Joneses in the Big Ten is because they've had bad leadership at the head coach position and at athletic director. They're finally turning around, or at least it appears that way in Lincoln, is that going to happen in Iowa City? Okay, I think the worst part right now about the University of Iowa is not the Ferences. It's about Gary Barda. I believe all of these things, and there's a lot of them, you best, I'm looking at my other monitor here. I am going to list them off. Sorry, Mr. Barda. Um, the problems at Iowa rest squarely on the shoulders of Gary Barda and not on the Ferences because in order to go to the next level in order to take that next step in order to move on to that new era because I firmly believe that's what Iowa desperately needs to do in order to do that you got to get rid of Gary Barta okay Gary Barta right he's because of the conflict of interest between Kirk and Brian Ferentz he's kind of the guy to look after the job performance of Brian Ferentz and what do they do? They add, uh, they give him another contract with other incentives when he had one of the worst performing offenses in all of college football. If his last name wasn't Ferentz, he probably would be fired. You would think Iowa has a long history of holding on to coordinators, especially their offensive coordinators for a very long time. So you might think, well, if it was any other guy, he'd be gone. I look at it another way. I look at it as if it were any other athletic director, Brian Ferentz would be gone. I believe the problems at Iowa are because of Gary Barta at the top. And look at the lower third. You're not going to move on from Kirk Ferentz, right? You're not going to have him retire. You're not going to have Brian Ferentz move on unless there's a change at the very top, unless there is a new athletic director at the University of Iowa, right? And nepotism isn't just the only thing for Gary Barta. So don't, don't think that, oh, it's just this one minor issue. Okay, nepotism is one thing. You take a look at the racial discrimination deal and lawsuit that they're going through. That's another thing within the football program. And then I think one of the bigger ones that maybe hasn't been talked about in some time is the unwillingness to cooperate with the Swarm Collective and give them the data they need to further Iowa athletics. Right At the top of the video, we talked about other teams that are evolving. We talked about other programs that are embracing name, image, and likeness, as well as other initiatives and other things going on in the modern day of college football. Gary Barta, Kirk Ferentz, and the whole crew at the University of Iowa refuse to evolve. They refuse to embrace change, and Gary Barta refuses to discipline and hold the Ferences accountable for their actions, both on the field and then some off the field things as well. So what is it going to take 
for Iowa to move on from the Ferences, it's going to take a new athletic director. Okay, and that needs to happen yesterday. You can tell I'm kind of worked up about this. I am very passionate about this subject because I think it's kind of crazy that all these guys are kind of still here. I understand why Kirk Ferentz is still here. Okay, let's not let's not mix that up. I understand Kirk Ferentz is a freaking legend. You go from Hayden Fry to Kirk Ferentz, that's a pretty good record for Iowa. And he's done a good job. I just think college football right now is passing the Iowa Hawkeyes program by. That's what I think about Iowa. And this is a program, a football program, that is ripe to be right there. I believe, you know, Kinnick Stadium, I believe, is one of the more underrated stadiums in the country. Kinnick at night is friggin' electric. Right, Kinnick during the day is awesome as well. Kinnick at any time is one of my favorite stadiums to watch on television. Maybe one day um, I'll travel to three or four hours south to take in a game um, in, in Iowa City. But I will say this about Iowa. They could benefit from radical change. Okay, You have Nebraska um, and Wisconsin and Minnesota, other Big Ten West teams, and now with USC and UCLA coming into the conference. Those schools that I just mentioned in the Big Ten West, they are embracing NIL. They are working with their collectives. They don't really have scandals of any kind in their program. They don't have nepotism. They don't have racial discrimination. The writing is on the wall that it is time to move on. Okay, time to move on from Gary Barta because no change is going to be made. Okay, I could sit here and throw out records. Oh, they got to finish this and they got to finish that. There is clearly a relationship between Gary Barta and the Ferens family. Okay, so I could throw it oh, for four and eight and three and nine. I could throw that out until I'm blue in the face. Okay, they, they could go four and eight next season and maybe they'll get rid of Brian. But for Kirk, it's just a down year. He'll turn it around. I don't foresee that happening. Iowa is not a program that goes four and eight. If you look at Iowa historically, right, this is a six and six, seven and five, maybe sometimes a five and seven team at their worst. It is a consistent program. But I believe with the right leadership, with the right athletic director and the right head coach, this Iowa program could be positioned towards the top of the Big Ten, especially in this area. But if they continue to nail their feet to the ground with Gary Barta, with Brian Ferentz and Kirk Ferentz, you're going to have Minnesota pass you by. You're going to have Wisconsin pass you by. You're going to have Nebraska pass you by. USC and UCLA and Ohio State and Penn State, you're going to be an average to below average program in the Big Ten Conference. Iowa has the support. The Swarm Collective is doing great things despite their challenges with the Iowa Athletic Department. Iowa has the potential. They have the fan base. I believe they have the resources to be one of the top football programs within the Big Ten Conference. It's just their leadership is holding them down. So to answer my question, what's it going to take? It's going to take a change in leadership at the athletic director position. And if that doesn't happen, it's going to take a lot of three or four win seasons. I want to hear what you guys think. What do you think has to change at Iowa for them to move on from the Ferentz family? Is it smart to move on from the Ferentz? I respect Kurt Ferentz. I think he's one of the better coaches in the Big Ten Conference. It just seems right now that college football is passing him by. I believe they're nailing their feet to the ground, whereas other programs like a Nebraska, like a Wisconsin, are evolving, and Iowa is not. Leave your thoughts in the comments below what you think. Subscribe to Big Ten Ted if you haven't already. I'm Big Ten Ted. We will see you in the next one.